hey guys gossip and reactions maristic i am going to bring some information to you guys about the economy and again like i said i do have an accent and i do speak different languages so somehow some stuff might not sound the way you would have said it but at the end of the day i appreciate you take the second the time to watch my videos and leave a comment nobody's perfect I'm trying my best and I as you can see I enjoy doing this and I appreciate everyone who comes aboard and subscribe and share and leave a comment so bear with me I'm not you know from America and I enjoy and appreciate everything America has to offer America is a very forgiving country is a very giving country they give everyone a chance so I think I should take my chance whether there was criticisms or not I don't mind. Bring it all in. I'm ready. Subscribe and let me know how you feel about all the stories. If you understand half of what I said, thank you. <laughs> if you understand everything, let's go, baby. Let's do it. All right. It says, Joe Biden's economy is honestly pretty amazing. How come he doesn't get credit? That's a question, yeah? Why he doesn't get credit? I don't know. I feel like the middle class are suffering you know they don't pay us enough so even though by the president being in power doing a lot of stuff behind the scene the middle class don't really feel it because the gas up the rent up food up so somehow we feel like something is not being done for us we are feeling the impact and um, that could be the reason why we don't feel like he's doing anything. And that's the reason other people are saying they prefer the other guy instead of him. I don't want to be bringing politics into my channel, but some stuff are necessary to bring, you know, to the table. If the economy is so bad, why are shops and restaurants so packed? That's another question, yeah? I understand that evidence is hardly worth mentioning but it does make you wonder <clears throat> if people are as concerned about the price of goods and services as pulling data says they are as you stand in line at that restaurant or circle the mall parking lot looking for a space do you wonder about the disparity between that what people apparently tell posters about the economy and what you can see with your own two eyes another thing one of my viewers said stop looking down <laughs> if i don't look down i cannot see the story that i am reading to tell you i don't have a teleprompter so i'm holding one phone and i have my laptop reading what i am saying what i'm trying to bring to you so please forgive me when things get better I will be able to get all the equipment that I need. But right now, I have to do what I have to do to survive, yeah. And I appreciate all the criticisms, whether it's negative or positive. It's okay. My wife and I are pretty conservative, at least in terms of economic consumption. When we splurge on a meal out, we tend to share a main dish and a salad. That's both financial and dietary economy. We simply cannot finish the huge portions many restaurants typically serve. Part of that is a consequence of getting older. <laughs> At least you're being honest. But it might also be that we can't eat that much because somewhere along the line, we made a conscious practice of not eating that much. That's a good point. I suspect that I I suspect that was connected with raising our daughters and paying for college. But when we eat at restaurants now, we notice what appears to be free willing spending all around us. Trays of upscale cocktails and appetizers, pricey on trays and desserts. When we travel to see our grandchildren, the story is the same. Whether we are in Nashville, Knoxville, Charlotte, or Lexington, Lexington, the restaurants are full. People seem to be spending money like there is no tomorrow. And maybe there was something to that. 
another thing i don't understand some people order large plates of food dessert or uh, appetizers but they don't really eat the whole thing they just taste it and leave the rest on the table so you're telling me you spend forty dollar for a plate not only you didn't eat half of it but you didn't even take the rest home you didn't even do a take out you leave it there and then they just toss it in the garbage and we have so many people are dying of hunger here in america believe it or not there was food but the restaurant would not give the leftover to people who are in need i don't think it's fair i don't think it's fair it's easy to question the economic woes of someone who drives a fifty thousand dollar pickup or complain about the guy in our town who drives around in an absurd tricked out golf car flying a full-size american flag it's entirely possible those individuals are mm, the ex-president supporters who believe or claim to believe that joe biden is doing a terrible job with the economy in the face of nearly all available evidence some of those dressed down folks packed into the restaurants may feel the same way despite the splurge spending <laughs> biden's bad economy what does that even mean never mind the lowest unemployment numbers in decades and the other telling economic data points just look around even the murderic on wall street journal acknowledges how strong the economy has been under this president again like i said some people don't really feel the impact because when you are living paycheck to paycheck you notice the difference if stuff goes up the rent the gas food and your job will add something extra then you will feel like okay yes everything goes up but i did get a raise it's not so bad but when you don't get what you're supposed to get and newcomers are getting more money than you there was a problem there was a situation not only has economic output made up all the ground lost during the pandemic but it's it is above where it would have been had the uh, pandemic never happened judging by what the congressional budget office projected in early 2020 so what gives why do so many people tell posters that they think ex-president and the republicans would do better job with the economy when that has literally never been true in my lifetime when republicans claim they are great with the economy they must be a worthless statement Klaus buried in the fine print again i can say this person has to be a democrat <laughs> and believe in what's going on right now but a lot of people are feeling the pains again i am not to judge whether the president is doing a good job or not i am not to judge whether the ex-president was better than this one all i know things are going up and the middle class are feeling the pain can anything be done to sustain the cut i don't know i don't know Pauline makes clear that ex-president working class supporters are not with him primarily over economic concerns they must secretly suspect by now that he has no clue about managing the economy <laughs> and is a terrible businessman they back ex-president for his simplistic and often incoherent answers to complex issues they love him for the hatred of orders he promotes and the anti-civic purpose he gives them license to feel floating nonsensical or self-counseling self-counseling conspiracy theories and owning the libs are easier and a lot more fun than actually trying to formulate policies to help move us forward as a nation and this fraught world the old political button that red vote republican it's easier than thinking it's even sarcastic in the age of voter suppression book banning christian nationalisms and self-serving 
fake history again guys i'm just bringing the story to you i don't have a take on this don't come blame me or leave me comment oh what are you now you don't support the president no 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 i am a democrat and i also respect republican i go for who's in my best interest okay i don't care if it's independent i don't care if it uh democrat or republican ronald reagan was the best republican they had people always talk about him at that time i was in my country in haiti but my mother always say i remember the reagan era you know so it doesn't matter whether it's republican or democrat whoever is doing a good job at where they stand that's what we should follow you cannot say okay i'm a democrat no matter what what this person does i will support them it's not fair it's not right you know we have kids we have bills we have um a future to worry about again it is up to you to judge it is my job to bring you the latest on how the people feel about what's going on here don't beat me up i'm just a messenger <laughs> don't beat me up subscribe and thank you so much for supporting a sister i really appreciate you guys have a wonderful night bye